partly remove the backing from the dressing and position over the wound. A moderately exuding wound would take up no more than 25% of the pad area. Place the dressing centrally and flat over the wound and surrounding skin, making sure that the port is positioned away from the wound and is uppermost over intact skin. It's important that you don't place the port directly over the wound. Remove the remainder of the backing and carefully smooth the dressing borders around the wound, securing it in place. Avoid creasing the adhesive border, but if this happens, simply reposition if required. In order to maintain a good seal during the wear time of the dressing, apply the fixation strips with a 1cm overlap to each side of the dressing. Smooth the strips to ensure an effective seal. Be sure not to trap the tubing. Place the batteries as indicated in the battery compartment. All indicator lights will flash once. Next, connect the dressing to the pump. You'll need to twist together the connectors to ensure a secure connection between the dressing and pump tubing. If a shorter connection is required, the pump tubing can easily be removed from the pump and the dressing connected directly to the pump. Press the blue button at the front of the pump for three seconds to commence negative pressure. The green tick indicator will start to flash to tell you the pump is working correctly and will continue to flash regularly to indicate that the system is turned on and functioning properly. If an air leak is detected, this will be indicated by the flashing yellow warning indicator. Ensure you check the dressing seal and smooth out any creases and check the tubing connections are secure. Press the blue button for three seconds to resume therapy. The green tick indicator will then begin to flash as therapy is successfully restarted. When negative pressure is applied, air is sucked out of the dressing, causing it to flatten. Once the stitch-bonded, strengthened hydrofiber wound contact layer makes intimate contact with the wound bed, it starts to absorb exudate and form a gel. The stitch bonding helps retain the dressing's integrity in this gelled state. As the dressing continues to absorb exudate, the exudate is transported upwards into the hydrofiber core of the dressing, assisted by the presence of channels in the dressing structure. This eliminates the need for a separate canister to collect exudate. The hydrofiber core transforms into a cohesive gel and is designed to lock in exudate and the harmful components it contains, keeping it away from the wound bed and surrounding skin. The foam layer is designed to aid distribution of negative pressure across the dressing and to the wound bed. A shower-proof top film provides an effective bacterial and viral barrier, in addition to aiding evaporation of fluid. Exudate will initially be absorbed into the dressing directly above the wound and then throughout the dressing, locked away in the hydrofiber core. To change the dressing, turn off the pump by pressing the blue button before disconnecting the tubing to isolate the pump from the dressing. Carefully stretch the fixation strips away from the skin before lifting and removing together with the dressing. The innovative system brings together the power of negative pressure wound therapy and hydrofiber technology, which is designed to help create a moist wound environment for healing. <laughs>